This is Aussie Mac Zone. We'll cover everything Apple, including Macs, iPhones, iPads, and more. All this from an Aussie perspective. Sit back, relax, and insert yourself into the zone. The Aussie Mac Zone. Hey everyone, welcome to Aussie Mac Zone show number 111 and uh, a very special show coming to you on a Thursday, which probably in podcast world doesn't uh, make a whole lot of difference, um, but uh, new things finally um, and uh, to talk about those, uh, Gar, how are you tonight? I'm bloody awesome, how are you? Very well, very well and uh, all full of Apple goodness and excitement uh, as I bet is Michael as well. Yes, mate. Early morning, and it was worth the wait, almost. <laughs> Absolutely. Lots of uh, goodies, so uh, I rec get uh, straight into it. So yeah, let's start with the watch. Uh, watch OS 2, coming soon. And uh, I guess some of this we had a bit of a, a, a prelude for, uh, um, but uh, it uh, is going to be worth the wait, and I think um, it would really be like having a new watch. Yes, it will be. We're looking forward to that. Um, it was good to see like there's there's already ten thousand watch apps. Ten thousand. I haven't got that many on mine. <laughs> and thank goodness with that many. Uh, yeah, but any good ones. Yeah. <laughs> so sixteenth of September. Well, seventeenth, I guess that will be for us here in Oz. Um, we'll be expecting to see. I know you two boys will be up first thing in the morning, refreshing your devices, going, "Where's my update?" Absolutely, and uh, yes, yeah, seeing that through, and uh, one would expect that uh, those native apps will be uh, ready to roll. Um, I guess all the developers uh, have been are uh, working hard, uh, get getting getting those ready. The thing I'm really looking forward to is the you know. Um, complications from third-party apps i think for me uh, you know notifications the watch stuff complications on that front you know that the front watch face are the one of the best parts of the whole whole experience for me yeah not just to be limited to the apple ones uh, yeah i think we'll get some uh really uh really exciting ones coming through that uh people have had time to get used to the watch now they've probably had some thoughts about it why can't we do our own or if only it did this um the developers now get the chance to do that yes it's it's an exciting time i thought that uh airstrip app that they were showing off which is uh the a medical app where a doctor can get uh, a hipaa compliant data sent to them and they can actually um see the patient's heartbeat for example or it was a baby's heartbeat that used in one example and if they want to see what that's been over time, they just roll the, the wheel backwards and it just takes them back in time. So Yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. Right. Yeah, the time travel stuff. Um, yeah. It looks, look, look, looks pretty good. Um, but I must say, it's, pro it, it, it's probably um, it was some demos of stuff, again, that we've probably uh, uh, had uh, out, out, outlined to us. Um, and I guess because it's not new, new hardware, it's... Uh, it's the operating system update. Um, it's uh, it's a lot of stuff was expected, but it was good to see. Um, I guess now that I've developed some of these through, so you can actually see practically uh, what benefit you're going to get out of. Uh, I guess like opening up the op operating system. Just simple things like you know, I don't know about you guys, but I always check the weather on my watch now, and um, mm. you know, quick quickly being able to rotate that button on the home screen, see the temperature or. Now, it looks a bit rainy outside. Is there going to be a storm in a couple of hours' time or not? And just roll that forward and get a good idea of the predictions. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I, I was surprisingly uh, pleased to see a couple of new watch band colours. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a you know a small thing, but a few new colours in there. I, you think, know, it's pretty cool as well. I think I might yeah. need to pick up one of those. Uh, That's right. New operating system, blue. new band and... Uh... Yeah, so that's probably enough on that one because we didn't really know a lot about the watch. Exciting stuff. Let's get to the exciting <laughs> stuff. Um, uh, Michael, what did you want to uh, cover next, do you reckon? Uh, well, we've got... Sorry, I've got it all on paper, so I'm trying not to make too much noise here today. i paper. <laughs> do you remember what those are? You've gone back to the olden days. Yeah. Don't so, you know we have iPads and things like that now? We can put the show notes on. The iPad. What do you reckon? What did you think about that? 
I guess a lot of it had been uh, good. Um, this lost Garth temporarily, but we'll continue on. I'm sure he'll he'll be back. Uh, it looked um, that screen. I reckon it's going to be amazing to see. Uh, yeah, I think you know, in real life. something that big and thin is going to feel pretty cool so to hold. Yeah. And powerful too. It's what's got the A nine X processor in it. Unbelievably, yeah. It's um, yeah. you know, it's really heavily marketed, and they 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 obviously showed it as a pro device for, for the you know, professional people, and you know, use in in professional situations, and they once again brought the medical into it, and um, so forth. But I think it's actually going to be a fantastic device for those people, who don't really need a laptop you know the the market of for ipads of mum you know your mum who really doesn't need a computer but just having a bigger screen and having that a bit more capable of a device bridges that gap to mm, an it's actual close computer now, isn't experience it? Yeah. where i you know i think you know maybe they were going to have to push to a computer previously but i think with this this device i think that part of the market is going to be bigger than anyone's really um really expecting for this device. And what would you get today, given a choice between the MacBook and the iPad Pro? Um, say even forking out for the uh, keyboard uh, and Apple Pencil, which we'll touch on in a, in a minute. Um, you know, they're pretty close, aren't they? In, uh, they are, yeah. In, in uh, what they can do, the form factor, etc. Personally, I'd still go a MacBook. Um, I want I want all of Mac OS, but um, <laughs> there's some questions about yeah. the that iPad Pro mm -hmm. and uh, uh, especially with the Apple Pencil. That Apple Pencil was yeah. with with the um, uh, I guess the same down to down to the pixel um, sensitivity. Uh, I'm saying it does what 240 scans a second when you've got the pencil there. So it differs to when you've got your finger there to try to get that level of accuracy. And also they're saying with essentially no lag um so if you're sitting there drawing or sketching something it's not like the old days where you would have your stylus you know do a sweep across the screen and then see the uh see the little um uh, line follow uh, thereafter um i reckon that'd be pretty amazing to play with yeah Just because we're um garth was choosing the macbook i think that's because we're old school yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that, I was buying it for it a, for, my, <laughs> for a partner or you know for my partner or for for mum or for most other people, I yeah. think the the iPad Pro is the obvious choice. Yeah, and it's it's amazing that it's like twice the size and the same weight as the original iPad, um, but the graphics being three hundred and sixty times faster than the original iPad. So that's over five years. That that's a bit better than um, Moore's law, isn't it? It's it, it's come it's come a long way, um, and look, I guess for power users, I mean, you still want uh, OS ten because you want to run your full apps and do what you you, you need to do. But uh, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes and uh, where the convergence happens. Because I guess if we look to the Microsoft world and to the Surface, which obviously there's a lot been a lot of comparisons done, um, yeah, probably more around the uh, form factor, etc. Uh, I guess Microsoft's uh, view is around the phone and their tablets and um, desktop is it's essentially all the same operating system where Apple still you know, has the iOS, OS X uh, divide, though we have seen and speculated you know, over, over the years that uh, a lot it's of good. those features and functionality, well, especially from iOS, has made its way into OS X. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see It's definitely getting closer, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How, I don't know, <laughs> once again, I'm waking up, you know, I, did, I missed the beginning of the event, I woke up, sort of just, you know, turning over and, go, oh, yeah, that's right, this is on, you know, I'll just plug in and turn on. And what do I hear? Microsoft on stage. <laughs> right, hang on, <laughs> am I awake? How was that? So You're in a parallel <laughs> universe. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, um, that was just extraordinary. So for, for listeners who haven't seen the, the keynote or heard this part of it, you know, one of the demos with the iPad Pro was from Microsoft, um, along with Adobe and other other people we'd expect to see. Um, 
The yeah. Adobe demo was pretty cool. Yeah, well, there's a new uh, app. And, <clears throat> yeah. And look, I think that's part of what the speculation was and part of the attraction here around the uh, uh, graphics, graphics designer type folk. Um, yeah, the, 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 the iPad Pro combined with Apple Pencil, um, there's some really, really interesting possibilities there just to, uh, um, and I guess, you know, with the size of that screen around, um, well, it's probably not even graphics, like just thinking about it, um, just having that level of granular control um, on that big screen, you, you think about um, stuff like GarageBand and that that they um, you know, have shown and released for it, just that yeah. um, it, it uh, could be a lot easier to do things with than just um, um, with the mouse or even you know, a trackpad. You know, maybe more intuitive of touching and moving stuff around and you've got the granularity now as, you know, um, uh, aside from your finger, which obviously can't... Uh, can't do that, even if you were able to sharpen it. I think as Steve <laughs> was on about it at that yeah, one time. Four speakers uh, that that change. They're in, they're... Oh, that's back to the seventies, isn't it? Quadraphonic <laughs> sound. <isn't> it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, that, I, for me, that is a um a selling point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but um, all, all goes yeah. in. I suppose we'll cop a reading from Microsoft about the um, finally getting a. A stick to write with. Kickstand and a, <laughs> and, and a keyboard. Yeah. yeah. So. What's the deal with that keyboard? You know, $159 US. Does anyone... I, I need to know, I need to see that keyboard to understand why I would want to pay that much for a sounds like smart cover type keyboard that in general terms, most people haven't liked the feel of that type of keyboard. Uh, it's not the MacBook one, the... isn't it? It's sort of whatever technology they've got. Is it? Yeah. I, I, yeah. That's what I believe. Um, There's a big difference, I think. But like the Surface one is uh, a rubber type keyboard. This one's a material keyboard, and it's got the same key action as the latest MacBook. So the actual yeah. key key mechanism is the same as the latest MacBook. Just to make it have that 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 feel. <clears throat> oh, look, I think mm. it's going to be something that you'd. Uh, as you say, Garth, have to uh, play with. But, I mean, really, we are looking at MacBook uh, versus the iPad Pro. You're going to be, you're going to be uh, forking out the same dollars, pretty much. It's getting close, isn't it? You get your pencil, iPad Pro, and your, uh, uh, and your, and your keyboard. Um, it's going to be pretty much the same price. It's, it's going to be getting up there. Wanna, um, more than the, six, the 32 gig, if you want to go for the 128 or whatever with the LTE, well, then you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I I, yeah, I wish the the MacBooks had the LTE for that matter. That would be a nice feature for those real. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing, isn't it? That you sort of um, say, oh yeah, but I'm a power user. I'd really like the uh, um, MacBook. But then you sort of the pencil thing is just so cool. Bigger screen, um, yeah, better better speakers, as you say. LTE. It is a very portable machine where. Arguably, you can have your phone with you anyway, so you still can tether it. So it's probably not a huge deal. But um, remembering you don't get yeah, the it's, GPS. Uh, maybe not an easy decision. Sorry, good. you don't get the GPS as good uh, if you haven't got the LTE. That's yeah, it. That's true. Well, that's, that's, that's true. So yeah, yeah, I mean, it starts to starts to become an interesting choice. Yeah. It's only money. Well, you, you really don't need the GPS <laughs> if you don't have the LTE in a, in a lot of senses. You know, if you haven't got the GPS, you're really talking. Um, if you haven't got the LTE, you're really talking about a, a home device, in many ways, a home and True. workplace yeah. device. You're not talking about a device that you're going to be using as you drive or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. it makes sense that those you know, two come together in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, do we see Australian pricing for that, Michael? No, not yet. It's, no, it's not I had yeah, a bit of a look around. Yet. I wasn't sure whether. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether I'd missed it or yeah, no. not. But what, what's so 800 US? Yeah, so it's going to be... It depends on the on the dollar on the day. Like at the moment, it's... Well, 800 US, 100 bucks for your pencil. It's about Australian, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so what do we say? 160 or whatever for the keyboard. Yeah. Um, so uh, what are we there? You know, best part of $1,100. Yeah. It's going to be getting up to 1500 1600 quite easily. Yes. Yeah. If not, if not the seventeen hundred odd for the uh, MacBook. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. When you put 
that together. But gee, there's a hell of a lot in it. Yeah, like they reckon it was eighty um, percent faster than most of the PCs that shipped last year. Hmm. So this is the thing as well of what, what what are Apple doing with their chip production? Where might it be going? Yeah, <laughs> it's just they're into it, aren't they? Like they're really pushing. Certainly, could be running OS ten. Yeah. And for you know, like for um, power per whatever you measure, um, um, you know, battery consumption stuff, and you, you're getting better bang for buck than you are out of uh, uh, other processes, aren't you? Yeah, by a mile. And they're not relying on anyone else. If it's late, it's their fault, and they don't have to admit that, so they can just ship, you know, they can have this presentation late, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So, yeah, it was good. Okay. Um, be interesting. Well, there was a fair, there was a fair bit, so let's go, let, 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 let's keep moving on. So, uh, Apple TV, phone or uh, phone or TV, <laughs> TV. Don't 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 get me out of order. I'll go mental. I've been up. All, <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> so the Apple TV and everything that needs to change is the apps that um, that they reckon oh, we've hasn't been waiting for this a long time, haven't we? So yeah. How long have we been saying Apple should be doing this? They finally have. <laughs> Full on, too. And Siri's, they've done a lot of work in Siri, and that, that shows up in the iPad as well, and and the phone. and so. Well, it's the future of television, isn't it? Uh, the future of TV like <laughs> is apps. There were some cool <laughs> demos with Siri there, wasn't there, to be yeah, honest? Yeah. Well, again, you know, in what Siri could do and... Mm how it might work as an interface i mean this is the stuff people have been again talking about for for a while um we need to see if it works um but uh you know the uh, possibilities um around it are, are huge if it uh if it's as anywhere near as good as uh you know the demo yeah that's pretty amazing even that little feature of what did she say you know to siri oh, that and it, well, it rewinds it back the video back 15 15 seconds. Seconds. Yeah, and put subtitles up. up. Yeah, brings up the closed <laughs> captions for it. That's just for that little section. How, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so my question is: Is this the future that Steve saw? Because wasn't that the famous, uh, the famous quote? Line? Of, um, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, they've done a lot of work. Not sure. They? Done a lot of work, and it was very interesting to watch. But what I liked um, on the TV when they started demoing the apps. The first company was an Australian company. Yes. To, to, for the demos. I thought that was awesome. Yes. A company yeah. from Melbourne was up there. Hear an Australian voice up there? Yeah. That's yeah. right. G'day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the, for the, the first app that the world saw on an Apple TV was Australian. So that's pretty cool. It was. What was the app again? It was a game. Yeah, it was... Um, Crossy Cro Road. Crossy Road, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's it. Yeah, Crossy Road. Yeah. Very, very cool. So, um, yeah, so there's a lot. There's a lot to like uh, around yeah. this one. Um, so A9, A9 processor, not the A9X. And hang on, wasn't it an A8? A8. Sorry, it was A8. Yeah, not A9. Mm. Yes, that's right. Um, um, so which that I think was, plays into that price point. Well, probably, and maybe around the chip production as well. That uh, mm. uh, obviously the A9s are going into the phones. Um, so, I mean, that's the thing where Apple make their money and need the volume. So, uh, I guess they, that's where they've prioritized it. Uh, I guess hand in hand with that, you probably see a bump coming next year where, oh, yeah, we've got A9s or whatever now to put in there. And here's your 4K because, um, I guess that's the other thing to touch upon as well, where it's uh, 1080p. Personally, I don't think it's a big deal because that's what all the material is. But I guess. Yes. I mean, overwhelmingly positive reaction out of uh, you know, all the announcements today, even though a lot have been probably uh, um, leaked or uh, um, or guessed, uh, probably more so leaked. <laughs> but um, uh, just uh, I guess where people were getting a little bit narky about things, there's probably two things. Um, well, you can shoot, shoot 4K on your iPhone and uh, Apple TV only does 1080p. And the other thing was, everyone got their knickers or not around um, the iPhone 
having a 16 gig model. For some reason, that was, I don't know, the Twitterverse <laughs> was exploding around that. That seems a really bizarre thing. It's like, well, if you don't like it, it's like 32 gig model or 64 gig well, model. Well, 64, no 32. yeah. Yeah. yeah, the TV's 30, 32. Yeah. 32, it is, yeah. 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 But it, look, so it, it looks really good, yeah. And the, and the remote's cool as well. Oh, I beg your pardon? The remote. The oh, the remote. Cool. So yeah. we've got the remote with the uh, we've got the directional sensors in it, the strut, the swipe screen on top, the touch screen on top. Yeah, the physical Siri buttons button on the bottom. When you, wanna, when you actually want to. Siri use. button, yeah. Um, that that was pretty cool, and being able to just walk up with your uh, iPhone or iPod or iPad and start using that as a second device for for playing games, that was good. So people don't yeah, have I to think lay there's a lot out, more to know, be seen there. 180 bucks or something for, for another remote, which is what <laughs> Apple would, could have done. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of those under the Christmas tree, I think. It's yes. Fantastic, yeah. you know, present yeah. for the whole family. But, but also the support for third party um, controllers as well. Um, mm. So that's another whole industry. That's going to come up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And look, look. Sorry, go, Garth. You go. I was just going. Well, I was just going to say. I would you know, back br briefly on the um, price point, one forty nine and one ninety nine US. When I'd heard that in the rumours, I thought nah, that's got to be BS. With all the stuff they're planning on including in this device, even that remote itself has got to be, you know, considerably more expensive than previously. That's not the kind of margin that we expect Apple to be making on these sort of devices. <laughs> You know, the new iPod Touch is is what starts off at two fifty or something. So to bring that device in at, at two hundred and and one forty nine US, I think is, you know, they're really they're saying this is a device to consume content on, and you know, down the road we're going to supply you with another way you can give us money around this device. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. That that's really they're quite a low price. They're going to make it on apps. Make, that's right. Yeah. yeah well, make it on starting. their on their yeah. TV subscription thing down the track. Well, that's all there. Yeah, that's all still to come. And yeah. I mean, that's the speculation, isn't it? That it, it was ready. It's been ready since mid year, but they were delaying in the hope that they would have got some of their uh, streaming deals and and um, um, yeah. which I think was the delay. I'm total tangent here around the Telstra. Well, wasn't it? You know that Roku um, badge one that Telstra are bringing out. That uh, that's been. Um, delayed um, around the same reason. So I think it's the issue the whole industry is having at the moment of, um, uh, you know, probably all the content providers are, are lost and uncomfortable about what they want to do and don't want to get locked in, etc. All these hardware manufacturers and streaming type folk, you know, like your Netflixes and stands and that are trying to get everyone signed up. So it's uh, mm. a lot of moving parts in, in, in that space at the moment. At the moment, it's trying to agree on something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to get some agreements made, and, and may look, you know, bringing back to that, maybe why we're we looking at an A8 chip in there as well, because it has been ready for that amount of time. Well, what, what got a scared warehouse me? Full of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What scared me and amazed me was that there was absolutely no mention of HomeKit at all. Nothing. Yeah, but yeah. you've got to remember. I think the thing with HomeKit is it is already there. Like it's there in the current Apple TV in the way that it works. I mean, HomeKit, you can buy, the, the thing is, the, the hold up with HomeKit has been the third party providers. Now we're starting to see some of that stuff. You can link it up. Your current Apple TV will work as a, a relay point for that. So you can use Siri and, um, you know, if you're in the house with Siri now on your phone, if you've got HomeKit stuff hooked up properly, connected to your iCloud account, your iCloud HomeKit account or whatever it is, however that works, can use your Siri to turn stuff on and off. If you've got an Apple TV, you can then do it when you're outside of the house because the Apple TV will act as the relay point. So a lot of that stuff is there. It's just that there's no sort of HomeKit central app, and I think that's what people are really wanting to see. But actually, but, it is there, and um, but not, but we're really waiting on... to mention it, not even to say... To not bring it up, yeah. It's going to work with your, your home, new HomeKit stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. that was mm. just does really need that kick along and uh yeah i guess that's what was expected at some time yeah maybe with, with the tv it's like you know when here's um you know a couple of the companies along to uh have some really um game changing uh um uh applications or uses or, or around hope yeah. kit that's really going to uh uh kick it all along and unless mm. 
let's assume that there's another um, sh show of some description next month, unless they're going to bring it up there again. Oh, yeah, well, maybe they got new iPods. They have those in <laughs> September. <laughs> so. I don't think we're going to see another event in October now. You know, we, we've got our so. iPad Pro. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to say. But just looking at the specs here for the Apple TV, maybe it has been sitting around for a while because the networking's 10100. It's not gigabit. Uh, and it's HDMI 1.4. And uh, I'm pretty sure 2's been kicking around for a while. <laughs> maybe they've had these things in the warehouse for a year. <laughs> no, I think that all fits into the way they, they can bring it at that price point. I was, I was Beforehand, I was ready to say those price points can't be right because Apple will want to make more profit on it than that. <laughs> but, um, As you say, there's, yeah. there, 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 there's a lot there um, uh, in hardware capability. Mm. But just in, gee, I just think the App Store's just got so so much. And uh, yeah, what I was going to say before is where Apple uh, obviously is the, saying that not competing with the Xbox One and uh, PlayStation Four. Um, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of fantastic games, as we know, on uh, uh, on iOS. Um, they're going to pretty much translate across onto the Apple TV. Um, you get that up on a big, you know, your 1080p um, screen TV, already very high resolution on your on your phones and iPads and that, you know, so that will translate well. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think there's, there's a lot there to be said that um, do you really need the dedicated um, gaming console? I think it will go a very long way to uh, um, addressing that market. I think families probably don't, but gamers twitchers do you know that's yeah. two different markets there oh look there's always that, that 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 segment but you know maybe as you say it's like the um um general population or you know that that, that larger space there it's like yeah it, it, it's good enough um you know the same reason that people still build their gaming machines with four graphics cards and things like that yeah sure there's people that want to go and do that but that's it's a niche it's not um you know it, it, it's not the general rule Absolutely. Yeah, very, very exciting. Something to look forward um, to and even for the streaming using. content stuff, because you can do your own. We can have the uh, um, Aussie Mac Zone uh, app um, and uh, streaming 24 by 7 from Michael's <laughs> house. <laughs> Any, anytime you like, sir. Anytime you like. Now, uh, okay, we better get onto the iPhone, because... Uh, if, if we can just yes. bring up one point before we go. Absolutely. And, and who is actually um, bringing talking about streaming who's actually bringing this show to you it's aussie tech head web hosting ath hosting and um we all know about how good it is and the 99 percent uptime and the sydney based service which makes a difference for for some some clients and it's only five not a five a month starting point when you pay annually so i just don't want to forget that our friend Glenn is looking after. We we, we we certainly don't, and uh, I'm sure if you're looking at doing some streaming, uh, ATH web hosting, I uh, would certainly be happy to have a chat. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> so we've iPhones. iPhones. This is the only one we've got Australian pricing for, which is still yeah, the same as true. last year. <laughs> um, but my take on them was nothing unexpected, but gee, they'd look. I mean, the demos and whatever, it does look it does look cool. I mean, the form factor, and that's not changing. You know, that's what's being said. But um, I think I think there's enough in it. Um, you know, camera was talked about. Um, um, but again, you know, that, that, that's Apple's uh, um, probably key thing about the devices, isn't it? And it's, it's really still, uh, still kicking goals there. Um, yeah. Force touch. Three, 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 uh, camera app or what, uh, whatever and just like press harder and then you know uh, I take a photo you know, so it's around uh, I guess those layers of sensitivity where you're not even moving your finger around you're just pressing harder and softer on that so um, there's a lot of possibilities of there that 
we absolutely haven't seen yet as um, you know developers and uh, people think about that a lot harder. Yeah, yeah. Well, that the game that they demoed where you can um, you've got one one sort of weapon and you push a little bit harder, you've got another weapon, but you don't have to go over and change. You know, you don't have to take your take your finger off and change weapons and things. It's simple things like that. You can just go into omnifocus or things or you know word just <laughs> yeah that is cool um what else did we have on there so a9 chip um so uh again these chips are getting pretty good um so uh much <laughs> hugely faster cpu and i think like nearly double gpu um uh in, improvement in performance which is getting pretty serious stuff yeah. They are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. graphics is ninety um, percent faster, and the CPU is seventy percent faster. Yeah, um, sixty-four bit architecture, so it's um, <laughs> even in the iPhone, it's like a uh, desktop operating system uh, in that smaller um, uh, form factor. Yeah, um, it, it's it's really quite remarkable how much they've improved that that A chip, A nine, A eight, A seven since they've been doing their own 64-bit chips it's incredible mm. um, so I, we're sort of doing a lot of this show tonight as if everyone's seen all the announcements <laughs> but um <laughs> just to quickly go over what we saw in the new iphone so exactly the same form factor we've got the copper color added you know rose gold rose gold say, very copper. pink rose gold, pink, rose gold. Rose gold mm -hmm. added to the the other three color selections we've got the the faster chip the eight megapixel up to the 12 megapixel rear facing camera front facing camera up from 1.3 to 5 megapixel so much better selfies michael jason i don't know yes, you guys yeah, are, i yeah. know you both really uh, love this one. and so, uh, using the, the screen display. software yeah, yeah software flash in the screen and yeah. the 3d touch that we've touched on already um faster fingerprint scanner scanner sensor yeah so twice the speed in your fingerprint and that is one thing I noticed with my six. Actually, it just does take a little bit of time to um, use your fingerprint. And I, you know, my wife said, "Oh, I can type my type my password in quicker than that." <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be a nice little extra as well. So there's really, you know, these these phones are uh, really still moving along, aren't they? Yeah, and I thought the the photo, the new uh, what do they call it, live photos. I thought that was brilliant. So simple and brilliant. Like Harry Potter. <laughs> The Harry Potter feature, yeah, that that is surprisingly. Um... It's cool. <laughs> so what is it? One and a half. You take a picture, but it has captured one and a half before and after, and after. the uh, mm. uh, the actual picture. picture you're talking. Yeah. You, you can yes. It, 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 uh, it's yeah, just a really simple, forward. interesting way of of doing something. Very cool. Yeah. And they're saying it doesn't add significantly to the file size either. So. No, it's all pretty cool. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, the smart software people have done it by differential, I guess, because, you, you know, if you think mm. about it, you're taking a picture, but presumably if you've had your phone in the, you know, in predominantly the pixels aren't um, changing um, too much. Um, they're just capturing, mm. um, you know, the, the, the differences there. It's it, it, uh, There's probably a sensible reason yep. for that. Yeah. Yeah. But very cool. Um, we've got new covers and new leather covers. Ooh. And we've got a new... I'm sure there's some margin in those. <laughs> you think? A new Android app uh, on the Google Play Store for people that want to come over to the real side. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we first spoke about this during WWDC, didn't we? They, they pre-announced that, so now yep. that's there as well. Yeah, um, Very cool. Uh, you can start ordering them on the 12th for delivery on the... 25th 25th yep Friday yep. 25th yes yeah um, oh, the pro we've got Australian pricing which is the 16 gig 1079 for the 6s and the 6x plus is 1229 oh Australian dollars really uh, <laughs> yes from last year because those prices are you know they haven't changed the prices their side but our side they, they, they've gone up a bit yes um mm. the, the 5s is now the base model for us 
Yeah, they've got a few of them now, haven't they? Because um, so they've kept the six and the six at, um, plus. Yes, they've kept both of those. Yeah. Um, just just going back, is um, is Android running sixty four bit properly yet? Because I know that there was a period there where they weren't actually. It was there, but it wasn't sort of activated properly on on most of the phones. Not certain. Uh, it's not a space that I watch over very closely. No, unfortunately. No, I just, I just, I I'm, vaguely aware, I'm vaguely aware of this Android thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's enough for us. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's right. So uh, we've got uh, the new phones will have iOS 9 on them already because that'll start on the September the 16th. Uh huh, yes. Um, and iOS because 9, we're gonna... watch OS 2. Yeah. So, and El Capitan. Yeah, that's the 30th, I think, isn't it? A little bit longer for El Capitan. Yeah, a little, yes, a yeah. couple of weeks. Um, anything in iOS 9, you guys have been using the betas? I haven't. No. I haven't been. No. Oh, okay. So, all right. I was going to say anything in iOS 9 that you particularly like. Um, and I, you know, I haven't, I have been using the, the beta and I haven't found anything wonderful, wonderful, but, um, there is a lot of nice little things, even the back to last app you use sort of thing. And, you know, in the yeah. click yeah, the part is mail and stuff like that it makes it nice, but yeah, the best part is I'll be lots of little things, stability and performance, um, mm. which is really what it's all about. So happy with that. Yeah. Um, okay, anything else we need to cover off? Because uh, unfortunately they, I need to get moving tonight. Other yeah. things to be doing. So uh, I, I guess um, maybe, uh, Michael, final points or anything uh, we've missed? Yeah, the iC iCloud starts at 50 gig. It's 99 cents a month US. So they've they repriced brought, that, brought they? the yeah. price down for that, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so they're obviously expecting to take a lot more photos, etc. Or maybe Especially because you've got a 16 gig iPhone. These, these new photos maybe still take more than we're expecting anyway. Well, it's a bigger bigger yeah, megapixel camera yeah. to start with, so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, and it was, they obviously, and they did have a lot of Apple employees because it is a bigger venue, even though yeah, they, they- bust them all in. Yeah, they had <laughs> the, um, the big display areas out the back that they didn't have to build a building for this time and have people- yeah questioning it was just there and ready to go um so at the end tim got them all to stand up and was applauding them he said I'm yeah applauding no, i thought you. that was really so uh, garth any anything you think we missed or last no last not really i don't think it's looking no. excited to see the stuff yeah I, I just i yeah i can't can't wait for the 16th or 17th to get um the update to my watch i'm really really <laughs> looking forward to that Yes. And um, yeah, I'm, and I'm loving uh, even Siri under iOS 9 is, is fantastic. I think the other day, I don't know, you can probably do this already under 8, but I just said, you know, add three different things to my shopping list and remind me when I get to my local shopping center. I guess, okay. And it was there. Location-based reminder with those things on my shopping list. It was bloody fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's getting better cool. and better. And uh, I guess as it's used more when we have it for the TV, etc. it's going to, um, you know, it, it's going to, get better refined and uh, get better even with the, uh, bad Australian accents in, uh, in <laughs> Australia. Yeah, yes. that's it. Okay, boys, well, thank you. It's been a, been a long thank day. You. Some awesome. of us have been up uh, 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 early and some of us still have things to do, so we might uh, uh, might wrap it there. I'm sure, actually, probably funnily enough, at the same time, the um, Aussie tech head guys are, are covering off some of this as well. So, uh, um, mm. Finish now. We'll be we'll, 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 we'll be first to uh, first to air. That's right. Um, <laughs> so uh, we'll uh, I guess do it all again next week. Only a, yeah, uh, be a short week. Coming back next Tuesday and uh, see um, if our views have changed till then. So uh, we'll yeah. catch you then. All the best. Thank you. Good night.